What made Francis Xavier such a great person? It was the right choice, life choices that he made. Francis Xavier was a well appreciated professor in the University of Sorbonne in Paris. There he received a lot of praise and appreciation. And the focus for him was me, myself. There an older student, Ignatius of Loyola, sensing the great potential of this young professor, posed this question to him. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but suffers the loss of his soul? Xavier ignored the message first. But then later, began to reflect on it and ask, how do I choose my tryst with destiny? Just a few years of good name and appreciation as a professor, or is life calling me to make a better choice, a choice of something of greater value choice of a life and action for others that will transform their lives. He chose the latter and joined the new society that was being formed, the Society of Jesus S.J. with Ignatius as the leader. This society searched for a new paradigm of life that would bring good news to people by transforming their lives through new values and new attitudes. Ignatius missioned Xavier to become a good news person to faraway people in India. After a year of travel by ship, he reached Goa. His life mission was to transform ordinary people by giving them both this and that gave him both the spiritual and emotional energy to travel to Malaysia and then to Japan and reach within sight of China. When his life energies were all spent, he decided at the age of 46, in 1552, he died. Today, Francis Xavier is remembered worldwide in numerous institutions and societies. Our school that carries his name remembers him with much appreciation. On this feast day of his, what do I carry home? Making right choices is essential for life quality. Today we live in a wonder world. Science-backed technology has produced many, many applications and appliances for our comfort and convenience. In fact, more, more than what we produced in the last 350,000 years. By providing so many opportunities and applications, these innovations also make it more difficult for us to make right life choices. So we need to awake the wisdom of the spirit to make 
right choices. Choose milk, not water.